Brown eyes saved humanity from extinction. Picture this. You're hunting across endless grasslands, the African sun beating down mercilessly, and suddenly your vision whites out. Your prey vanishes. Your family starves. Game over. But some early humans had a secret weapon, a defense mechanism so powerful it determined who lived and who died. Brown eyes aren't just common, they're evolution's masterpiece of survival engineering. Packed with melanin that acts like natural sunglasses, they filter deadly UV rays and prevent vision collapse under intense light. While other eye colors scatter light like broken prisms, brown eyes absorb and control it with ruthless efficiency. This wasn't about beauty. This was about staying alive long enough to pass on your genes. Today, over 79% of the world carries this ancient protection. But brown eyes do something quietly extraordinary. Under certain lights, like golden hour or candlelight, they transform into liquid amber, revealing hidden depths that were always there. It's melanin dispersing just enough light to show you what was hidden beneath. That unwavering intensity you see? That's millions of years of natural selection staring back at you. Blue eyes are evolution's most beautiful lie. There's literally nothing blue inside them, yet they captivate us like nothing else. When a blue-eyed baby opens their eyes, everyone stops and stares, unaware they're falling for an optical illusion from a single genetic accident. Every blue-eyed person alive, all 500 million, descends from one individual near the Black Sea 10,000 years ago. A mutation in the OCA2 gene switched off melanin production, creating transparent eyes that scatter light like the sky. The blue you see isn't pigment, it's physics in action the same phenomenon that makes the sky blue and sunsets orange. But here's the devastating catch. Blue eyes come with a brutal cost. They offer almost no protection against bright light, making their owners squint and struggle where brown-eyed ancestors thrived effortlessly. Even worse, they fade with age, often turning gray as delicate structures deteriorate. Blue eyes are evolution's trade-off, beautiful but vulnerable, captivating but costly. Green eyes are nature's impossible accident. Only 2% of humans have them, rarer than red hair or twins. But rarity isn't what makes them fascinating. It's that they require a perfect storm of genetic conditions to exist at all. For green eyes to form, your body must execute a chemical balancing act so precise it borders on miraculous. Melanin levels must be exactly right, not enough to turn brown, not so little that light scatters into blue. While producing lipochrome, a yellow pigment that creates that impossible emerald glow. It's like nature mixing the perfect cocktail where one drop too much ruins everything. Because this balance is so delicate, green eyes never stay the same. They shift from emerald to jade to hazel as your emotions change, as different lights hit them, and as blood flow fluctuates throughout the day. Ancient peoples saw this transformation and knew they were looking at something beyond the ordinary world. Every witch, Every forest spirit, every creature that walked between realms was given green eyes. They belonged to beings who refused to be pinned down to a single reality. Hazel eyes are evolution's wild card. If you have them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Look in the mirror. Are they brown today? Or maybe green? Or even gold? Hazel eyes refuse to be categorized, shifting between brown and green depending on your mood, lighting, and even your clothes. Here's the mind-bending part. This isn't a bug in your genetics, it's a feature. Unlike other eye colors that follow predictable patterns, hazel eyes exist in constant flux because they contain moderate melanin distributed unevenly throughout the iris, creating a complex landscape that reacts to everything around them. When you're angry, dark pigments take over. When you're happy, gold breaks through. It's like your emotions are made visible through your eyes. This constant change creates a unique psychological effect. People with hazel eyes often seem more trustworthy because their emotions are literally visible in real time. It's evolution's way of making your inner world impossible to hide. Amber eyes don't belong on human faces, and when you see them, your brain knows it instantly. You see them glowing in darkness, wolf eyes, hawk eyes, predator eyes. And when humans have amber eyes, something primal awakens in everyone who looks at them. Fewer than 5% of people have true amber eyes, and there's a biological reason they unsettle us. Amber eyes form when lipochrome pigments dominate the iris with minimal melanin interference, creating something that is honey-colored or light brown. 
These eyes don't change or soften with emotion. They lock on to you with intensity that triggers ancient recognition patterns in our DNA, the same patterns that once warned our ancestors when being hunted. Throughout history, amber-eyed individuals have been viewed as natural-born leaders, shamans, or dangerous outsiders. There's something about that golden stare that commands both respect and wariness. It's as if these people retained some evolutionary advantage the rest of us lost. The ability to see through you, reading micro-expressions and subtle tells that others overlook. When amber eyes look at you, they're not just seeing you, they're calculating you. Gray eyes aren't gray at all. They're the absence of color pretending to be one. Less than 3% of humans have them, but their rarity isn't what makes them remarkable. It's their complete lack of warmth. Gray eyes contain even less melanin than blue eyes, creating a color that absorbs emotion rather than reflects it. People with gray eyes don't give anything away. They don't sparkle with joy or darken with anger like other eye colors. Instead, they maintain unsettling neutrality that makes others feel exposed and vulnerable. It's like being studied by something that sees everything but reveals nothing in return. In ancient mythology, gray eyes belonged to gods of wisdom and judgment, beings who could see into souls but remained untouchable. The scientific explanation is simple. Extreme light scattering with virtually no pigment creates this ghostly color. But the psychological effect is profound. Gray-eyed individuals often report that others find them intimidating or mysterious, even when trying to be approachable. Their eyes have evolved beyond emotion into something colder and more analytical, perfect for surviving in a world where showing weakness could be fatal. Black eyes prove science wrong daily. They shouldn't exist. Yet here they are, staring back at you from faces that look perfectly human. These aren't just very dark brown eyes. They're melanin factories that produce pigment so dense that almost no light escapes back to the observer. True black eyes create an unsettling psychological effect. Without the subtle color variations and light reflections that make other eyes appear alive and human, black eyes can seem empty, predatory, even supernatural. In many cultures, completely black eyes are associated with possession or otherworldly powers. Not because of superstition, but because they violate our expectations of how human eyes should behave. The medical reality is extreme melanin saturation, sometimes combined with conditions like aniridia, where the iris is partially absent. But the psychological impact remains profound. Black eyes don't invite connection. They create distance and unease. They're evolution's way of creating a truly intimidating gaze, one that says, approach with caution without speaking a word. Red eyes reveal what lies beneath the surface. While extremely rare and usually associated with albinism, red eyes show us the truth about what eyes really are. Windows not just to the soul, but to the blood that keeps us alive. When melanin is completely absent, the iris becomes transparent, allowing us to see blood vessels normally hidden. Under the right lighting, these blood vessels create a red or violet glow. Elizabeth Taylor's famous violet eyes were actually this phenomenon, blue-gray eyes that reflected light in ways that created a purple shimmer. But red eyes come with a price. Without melanin's protection, people with red eyes often have reduced vision and extreme light sensitivity. Red eyes don't lie. They show you the blood pumping behind everyone's pretty colors. In folklore, red eyes mark supernatural beings because they reveal something essentially inhuman about seeing the biological machinery that keeps us functioning. Heterochromia breaks the genetic code. When one eye is blue and the other brown, you're looking at a biological glitch that turned into something extraordinary. Less than 1% of people have complete heterochromia, making them walking contradictions that challenge everything we think we know about human genetics. This isn't just a cosmetic quirk. It's proof that our genetic programming can malfunction in beautiful ways. During development, melanin distribution goes wrong in one eye, creating a human who literally sees the world through two different filters. Some have partial heterochromia, where sections of one iris display completely different colors, like geographical boundaries drawn across the eye's landscape. Heterochromia doesn't affect vision, but it profoundly affects how others perceive you. Without saying a word, your eyes tell a story of genetic rebellion and uniqueness. In many cultures, heterochromia is considered a mark of special destiny or supernatural insight, as if the universe couldn't decide what color your eyes should be, so it gave you both options. 
Every time you look into someone's eyes, you're seeing the result of millions of years of evolutionary decisions. And now you know exactly what those decisions were. If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. Peace out.